Good morning, grandchildren. This is the weirdest Bugs Bunny story I've ever read in my life, but you know, I'm gonna read it to y'all and see what you think. It's called Bugs Bunny Marooned. All right, you know what it means to be marooned? It means to be stuck somewhere that you don't wanna be. Most of the time, people are marooned on an island, but you could be marooned in the middle of nowhere, stuck where you didn't wanna be. Bugs Bunny was a happy stowaway among the carrot crates on Yosemite Sam's ship, but the ornery captain was not happy to find Bugs there. Get off and stay off, you fur-bearing critter! Yosemite Sam shouted, tossing Bugs into a tiny lifeboat, and Bugs was set adrift with only a carrot for an oar. An oar is a paddle. Bugs knew that the sailor steers by the stars. Now let's see, he said. North Star over here, Orion's belt over there. According to my calculations, my rabbit hole should be right about there. Bugs started to row. So here's Yosemite Sam. He tossed him off into a lifeboat. So now he's trying to find a place to go. And he's paddling with a carrot. That's pretty funny. The next morning, he reached the sandy shore of a desert island. This doesn't look like home, Bug said, looking around, but it sure beats bouncing around in a little boat. Bug sat down to eat his one and only carrot. Uh -oh. Then Bug set out to search for more food and fresh water. He wandered into the jungle. There he noticed something strange. Everything was much, much bigger than normal size. Hey, I've seen pigeons smaller than that butterfly, he exclaimed, and get a load of those violets. Here he is eating his last carrot. Now he decides he needs to go find more food. And look at this giant butterfly, as big as his head. Those flowers, wow. Something's weird about this island. Is this a mirage or am I in heaven? Bugs wondered when he saw a gigantic carrot. A mirage is when you see something that's not there, but you think you see it. It's a mirage. He tugged and tugged as hard as he could, but that carrot would not budge. Then Bugs had an idea. He bent a sapling and tied the carrot to the top of its branches. Then he let the tree spring straight again and the carrot popped out of the ground. See how huge this carrot is compared to Bugs Bunny? It's as big as he is. So he bends his tree over and ties it to it. it goes boom. Both mommies listening to this have both bent saplings over and ridden them. I've watched you do it. Bugs had hardly taken two bites when a strange little man in a white coat came into the clearing. What's up, Doc? Bugs asked. Actually, I'm not a doctor. I'm Professor X, a research scientist studying accelerated growth in organic life forms, the man replied. Is that so? Bugs asked between bites. Was this carrot your idea? Yes, the man rubbing his hands together said. I was hoping to trap something tasty with it, and here you are. So Bugs is over here chomping on this carrot, huge carrot, bigger than he is, and this little guy comes out of the woods, and he's trapped Bugs Bunny with that carrot. I wonder what he's gonna do with Bugs Bunny. Tasty, Bugs asked, chomping nervously on the giant carrot. Yes, the professor said Professor X, licking his lips. I'm so tired of coconut soup, coconut custard, coconut milkshakes. What I need is a nice rabbit stew. Well, I hate to eat and run, Doc, Bugs says. He started to run away, but his feet only scraped the ground. Bugs was being held fast by a mechanical arm that telescoped out of the professor's pocket. So he's going to eat Bugs. So this thing tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick came out of his pocket, grabbed him by the ears, and Bugs like, whoop, 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 but he can't go anywhere. He's going to eat Bugs Bunny. I'm just telling you, that'll never happen. Soon Bugs was the professor's prisoner. Struggle all you want, yummy thing. The Acme portable bubble cage is guaranteed escape proof, Professor X cackled. In his laboratory, the professor got ready to make rabbit stew. Listen, Doc, said Bugs, since you're going to all this trouble, why don't you make me big too? Then you can have rabbit salad sandwiches tomorrow, rabbit noodle casserole, rabbit tomato surprise. Such cleverness from a lower mammal, the professor said. Hold still while I focus the growth ray. 
Oh no, he's gonna make Bugs Bunny big. There he is in the contraption there. Oh my, what's gonna happen? Bugs grew so big that he burst the bubble cage Oh dear, what have I done, Professor X fretted as the nor enormous bunny bounded away. <laughs> Giant rabbit <laughs> running away. That's crazy. Bring me the rabbit, Malcolm, the professor commanded his giant dog, and be quick. The ray only flashed on him for a moment, and it may wear off soon. Oh, this is the professor talking. And be quick! The ray only flashed on him for a moment, and it may wear off soon. I want to cook him while he is still big. Whoa, 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 Malcolm barked. There's, he's apparently made a giant dog. So the ray only flashed on him for a second, so he doesn't think it's going to last long. He must know that by experience. Come on, Paige. Bugs was running through the forest. Suddenly, the ground beneath him began to shake. The air was filled with the wild barking of the professor's dog. What's up, dog? Bugs asked. Bo, whoa, 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 Malcolm barked. Oh, I get it, Bugs said. You're bringing your master his rabbit. Bugs blinked his eyes. Rabbit? So here the dog caught him. You ever notice Bugs wears gloves? Bugs needed a way to escape. Say, what's that on your shoulder? He said, he asked Malcolm. Malcolm only growled. Not falling for that old chick, Bugs asked. Go ahead, let it crawl up your neck. See if I care. Why am I talking like I'm from New Jersey? When the dog turned to look over his shoulder, Bugs jumped away, kicking Malcolm with his big hind foot. What a dope, Bugs laughed. Fell for the old over the shoulder trick. He kicked the dog when the dog turned around with his big rabbit foot. Look at that. Bow! Wow. Suddenly, Bugs heard the sound of giant wings. He turned just in time to see a tremendous owl about to pluck him up with terrible claws. Oh, said Bugs, owls eat rabbits. Bugs looked down and saw Malcolm chasing after them. That gave him an idea. Say, Doc, he said to the owl. Why would you want an old skinny rabbit when there's a plump, juicy dog right over there? From way up high, Malcolm looked small enough to grab. The owl dropped bugs and swooped after the dog. Ooh, he's big. Ooh, ooh. Can you say that? That's what an owl says. So he's telling the owl, go get the dog instead. I feel funny, Bugs thought as he fell down into the trees. When he saw the giant carrot again, he knew why. The growth ray had worn off, and he was normal-sized again. I'd better get out of here before someone else tries to get me, Bugs said. But I'm not leaving this carrot behind. Bugs dragged the giant carrot to the shore. He was wondering how to get home when he heard a buzzing overhead. A giant mosquito flew out of the woods. Bugs nodded the carrot greens and he, into a lasso and he nabbed the huge mosquito and tied the mosquito to the carrot. What is he going to do? He lassoes the mosquito? Bugs pushed the carrot into the water. When he saw that it would float, he climbed on board. The mosquito's flapping wings made a speedy outboard motor. This thing is a great boat, Bugs said, taking a bite as he sped away. I just hope I don't finish it before we get home. Oh. Ah, so that's what he did. He tied the mosquito and he's flapping and he's making the carrot move, but he's eating it. Oh no, what if he eats it all before he gets home? Ah. I love you.